G2A is the cheapest online video game shop. Make sure you buy your next game by clicking the link in the video description. Hello everyone, welcome back to Seki Pocket, and today we're going to be talking about the Hackintosh and whether or not it is dangerous. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys seen all those Reddit forms saying about like, um, about like it's not right, it's not good, and it's not safe, and it's dangerous and all that, but I don't really see, um, any real reason why that's dangerous. Now, it's up to you to decide whether or not Apple needs your money, or whether you should steal the Mac OS. I mean, you're clearly breaking their agreement, but... All I wanted to say is that it is totally s well, yes, it is totally safe to make the Hackintosh. If you download the operating system from the correct source, and you don't have an infected version, and you got the correct hardware that is supported by an Apple uh, Mac OS, then building a Hackintosh will be totally safe and you will not have any problems whatsoever. You're not totally safe. You could say you're totally safe in the sense that if you have compatible hardware, it'll work. And you've got a clean operating system, it'll work. But whenever Apple wants to, they can just give you a security update, and you get that, and you could be locked out of your computer. Now, this is still uh, pretty safe. If you have an Apple computer, if you have another Apple computer that's officially Apple, that one you will not be able to get locked out of, of course. So that one... If you have one of those and you build a Hackintosh, then you're safe because your if your Hackintosh goes down, you can take the drive out of that, plug it into your um, Apple computer, your official one, and that one will be able to read it perfectly fine. So you're safe if you have a, another Apple computer. There's really no reason to say it's too dangerous in any of that. Now, uh, being afraid of using it... There's not too many reasons to be afraid of using it, but I'd just say the only real reason to be afraid is what I'm saying. If Apple ever wants to, they can perfectly, well, lock you out. But if you have the compatible hardware, you are um, downloading the Hackintosh operating system from a correct source, and you know what you're doing, and you don't install it improperly, then you're going to be totally fine, and you should be fine until Apple closes you out. If you're still, like, uh, uh, skeptical about that, you can, of course, go search that on Google, because I'm not really going to cover that too much in this video. But if your main goal of building a Hackintosh is just to get a fast Mac computer for whatever reason, That'll be faster than the $2,000 Apple pro products, because they're really not that fast, even though they're so expensive. You just want to build a Mac computer that'll be faster than a normal Mac computer that's official. Then I'd say you should, you should probably go ahead and build a Mac uh, Hackintosh. But otherwise, I don't see any real reason to, and you're probably better off sticking to the official ones, because you're safer that way. But anyways, it's up to you guys to decide whether it's ethical or good, or whether you should do it or not. But if you think you should, or whatever, give this video a thumbs up. Um, give it a thumbs down if you disagree with something I said in this video, but if you subscribe, you'll see me in the next video. Bye.